everyone, this is Alan West of FlashCadabra.com and today I'm going to show you some settings in the Cairo dock and some other settings in the Compass Configuration Manager. Um, first we're going to right click on the dock down here at the bottom um, and then click Cairo dock configure and the last time we set it up we set it up so that uh, the space would be reserved for the dock at the bottom but as you notice, uh, whenever we maximize this window, it covers up the bar at the top. So we're going to reserve this space as well. So click Current Items. And then where it says Hide Dock, we're going to select Reserve Space for Dock. Click Apply. And now when we maximize, it will no longer cover up this bar at the top. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the Synaptic Package Manager and so type in Synaptic and uh, you're going to have to type in your password take a moment for the Synaptic Package Manager to open up uh, from here we can type in Compass and uh, as you can see there's a list of Compass settings which can be added to your Compass effects uh, that are not available in the uh, software center. There is actually a lot of settings and a lot of uh, plugins and add-ons that you can install from the Synaptic Package Manager that is not available in the uh, standard Ubuntu software center. But uh, for now I'm not going to install any of those items um, but if you would like to have uh, fire effects for your desktop or any of the other effects uh, you could install it from there. Next we're going to open up the standard Compass Settings Manager and from here we're going to um, play around with a couple of the different settings. Uh, there is one setting in here for example to show your cursor. So if you click on uh, show cursor and check the box you'll see up here at the top it says that the uh, keyboard shortcut is Super K. The Super button is the Windows key so hold down the Windows key and K and it'll add a uh, cursor effect around your um, cursor um, but I don't really care for that and I don't really have a use for it so I'm going to disable it uh, we can go back in here and we can add a uh, magnification which is sometimes helpful and if we click on that we can see that it's super M so if you hold down the Windows key which is the super key and M then you have a magnification so you can zoom in on stuff that's hard to read and then you just hit super M again and then the uh, magnification will disappear. I'm going to leave that one and check because I actually think that that one's useful. Um, you can also go in here and enable uh, water effects which I've already done and if you hold down super control it'll allow you to uh, draw in water across the screen. Not really a uh, point to it, but it actually is pretty um, cool to look at. So you could enable that. Uh, it might appear a little bit sluggish on my machine, but I'm using a uh, virtual machine. So after this uh, clears off my screen, I'm going to pause this for a second and go back to our settings. There's a couple others in here that might be useful. One of them's uh, annotation which basically makes it so that you can write on your screen and take notes on your screen and uh, you can also set it so that you can clear an area if you want to after you write on it and you can basically write on top of anything on the screen um, you can enable wobbly windows um, which basically makes the windows so that they're wobbly I don't really have a use for that and plus on a uh, virtual machine it sort of slows it down so I'm going to disable that one as well um, there's different fire effects and different 3D cube desktops. Um, you also have expose, which that by using the uh, super key and S. And uh, I'll come back with another video, uh, part three.